Well, Melanie, thanks for being oh. here. Okay. Um, and so here we are because we did a session together the other day and uh, I was just, it was so cool how you were ready to kind of dive into some emotion. Like even at the beginning of the session, you talked about like just wanting to be able to feel what's here. And so I've been wanting to connect with people and let people know about kind of how emotion comes through in body work and in movement and that it does and what that feels like and, and was hoping to get your insights from your experience. Yeah, so the first time I had emotions come up with anything related to my body was in a yoga session maybe four years ago. I was holding a child's pose and all of a sudden all this like deep pain and sadness came up and I was like, oh my God, I've heard that this is a thing. <laughs> and I trusted it and I, it, I was around a lot of people so I wasn't comfortable just like pouring it out. But I knew it was a thing from that point forward. Um, but I hadn't really dove into like where I can go to get more from that. Um, I have experimented with plant medicine and gone deep into exploring the self through that and the emotions and that was really transformative. Mm. But I, I also knew there must be a way to bring that out without having to do the plant medicine. And then I met you and I was just more curious about what you did and, and not even sure what it would bring up for me or if it would bring up anything. And um, I felt like you were such a safe presence where I was just allowed to be free to express. So I'm really grateful for that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so when we started the, the session, um, I was feeling a little bit emotional even when we were chatting right before we started and I didn't know why I figured it, it mm. meant there was some really good healing or some kind of like beautiful celebratory tear tears and kind of emotion um, even before and I was like okay cool this means that this is some sort of breakthrough for me you know being mm. here and but then when we got going I was just like no I, Matthew's safe he's not gonna judge right this is what it's all about mm. And stuff came up and I'm just like, you know what? I want, I want to process it. I want to express it. My body obviously is telling me something. And, and so I felt like I had a safe place to just express. I felt like sort of like a fountain of expression. Yeah. So, yeah. It was really cool. Beautiful. Yeah. Was there anything in particular that seemed, um, seemed to do that as we were working like anywhere in particular that i touched or was it i'm just curious how you experienced it what did it feel like in your body yeah um i i was so curious too uh, before i went in like how that was gonna be um and even in this session like you i remember the first emotion i felt was on my my right a shin <laughs> yeah. and it's not like oh you needed to massage and dig in and then the emotion came out it's nothing like that it wasn't even that I felt like this part of my leg was activated or anything it was just like a key kind of turned and I had yeah. an awareness and it happened to be there on my leg so I don't know how all that works um, but I do remember that connection and I remember specifically uh, feelings around my family, uh, specifically a conversation I had with my sister a couple days prior, and then I just felt like all this depth of understanding and love mm. around that conversation and around who I need to be and what I need to do about that conversation. So, so amazing how these things just are in the tissues, right? It's just like, and I remember that. I remember being on like that kind of outside like outer hamstring IT band right. almost, right? And I think I had one hand kind of in, in a little above your sacrum on, on your lumbar somewhere and mm -hmm. was just working that yeah. pathway through the psoas and through the back and yeah, and it was like something started to soften. Yeah. And then I worked my way up your spine and the more, the more. like as the session continued, we came up and I remember you were kind of arched back for a little bit and yeah. my hands behind your heart and it felt like like an unwinding it was like some something that was bound was was being un, unwound and I was just free to let it out and then I remember yeah in my um 
my shoulders and then my head area, I just remember like feeling like the energy was almost coming out of my face. Like, like all these, um, just carrying this persona of like being raised religious, mm -hmm. of being happy all the time and like having a smile and keeping oh, your face. Wow. And it almost felt like that, that needs to go. It, none of that, none of that pretend, you know, to pretend to be happy, be who you are. And if there's anger or pain, it's just like, blah. even my face, I wanted to like massage it and just kind of let it, just let it be free. Yeah, there's yeah. an authenticity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was, it was fascinating. <laughs> and again, it, it didn't, the part of the body that was being, I guess, worked on or touched didn't really seem to relate to anything I would expect. It, mm. it wasn't like a clear path. I guess that's my mind yeah. <laughs> trying to make sense. But yeah, I just had to kind of go with it and allow the release. Again, thank you for being a, a safe place to just let me be me. And it definitely brought up feelings of like, how come I'm unable to activate this within myself? And maybe mm. I am at some point. I feel yeah. like it's social. I feel like so much yeah. our bodies are social and, and we need each other. Like there's so much we could do on our own, mm -hmm. but there's a way in which we need each other to bring things out because like our traumas and that can be a capital T or a very small T mm -hmm. just the patterns we get stuck in the things that have shaped us positive and negative are rarely just alone right they're with other people whether it's the people that have been closest to us or people we barely even know but it's all with other people so when we get to hold that kind of a role for each other like a sacred space where we can start to unwind some of those things and feel into them and it feels safe enough to go there then there's this layer of healing that can happen that just doesn't get activated it doesn't we we need each other it's true as humans and um i think that's another thing that i'm becoming aware of is how i've tried to do so much myself you know, mm -hmm. just thinking, you know, this is all about me. I was born alone. I'm going to leave the planet alone. And I'll, my, this is my journey. It's specific. And if I have past lives and future lives, that's my, my thread of Melanie's essence, you know, existence. And there's truth in that. And there's also truth in that there is something that we need from each other. Otherwise, it wouldn't be considered punishment to put somebody in solitary mm -hmm. confinement, right? Totally. <laughs> So totally. why is that like the worst punishment? Right. Because you'll die. Right. Yeah. You, you wither and die. We need each other. Which maybe is why other people choose that as their spiritual path. Because it's so hard. What mm -hmm. you, would have, to, what you right. have to learn to hold that yeah. is deeply, deeply connecting to all it is. Yeah. You know, like. It's like some of the things that are hardest for us are the things we may choose as our conscious spiritual practices to like right. make us that much stronger. Yeah. But that to that's in the in intimacy that goes into body work and movement work too. Mm -hmm. Like intimacy is one of those too. And I think it gets discounted as a path to enlightenment to, as it right. were, to of the what happens in relationship to others and there's this sense that it can only be a romantic partner that we would touch be touched by or because it's so it is intimate just touch is a powerful connection mm -hmm. and so opening that up i think we talked a little bit about that at the beginning of the session of like yeah the boundaries that we may be used to holding because touch is so vulnerable and so how do we set up boundaries that the boundaries within which it's okay to be vulnerable yeah well i love that you have the conversation beforehand and you talk about touch and i think that's so important and it's really unfortunate that we do live in a world where there's so much distortion around touch and it's all convoluted with yeah a sexual intimacy or or whatever and 
it's just so unnatural to distance ourselves from each other and from every other human being except our chosen intimate partner right and right. it doesn't have to be about sex or anything and I think that's another beautiful thing that really came online for me after this was just to feel healing and mm. care from another person um, how healing that was you know and that's the first time I've ever really experienced that now of course I've gotten massages before and that's great and the muscles are grateful and I need to drink a lot of water and all that um, that does heal on, on many levels too but this was so much more than that <laughs> it was this was deeply spiritual mm. and physical because my body did want to cry I did want to shake I did want to kind of move the energy um, and then afterwards, I did feel a lot lighter and clearer. Yeah. And I can even hear it in my own voice afterwards. I'm like, oh yeah, I did get some kind of cleansing from that because even my voice sounds a little bit different. And I just felt another layer of clarity. Wow. Like it was a big purge, you know? Yeah. So, and then, so now I'm thinking, okay, so if I go through a purge and I have the emotions or stuff stored in my body and now I can move it with your help and with this new awareness, what do I replace it with? You know, that's, mm. to me, that's exciting. <laughs> so, that is, yeah. Like, oh, who am I? It's a space open. Yeah. That was another interesting thing in the session. You were saying, feel the space, right? So between like my rib cage and mm. the earth. And that was interesting. Because mm -hmm. it was almost like, I kept thinking, I belong here. I'm supposed to be here. I'm worthy of being here. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm holding this space in time and space, and, and I'm supposed to. Beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah, our bodies have like we don't always pay attention. This is a space. Like yeah, it's volume. There's space in here. Yeah. And so yeah, I often will put my hands somewhere and then bring someone's awareness to the space between my hands, or as I did with you, like the space between the ground. And where I'm touching, or I think we began without me even touching. Yeah. We were just working with awareness at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, you, you had your arm like laying on, you know, laying on your side, and it was just like feeling that space, mm -hmm. tuning the awareness to that. It can go so far. Do you think it's hard for people to release? Like, do you think the emotions come up? Because I wonder if I hadn't done the work to get to this point, if I would have felt comfortable, like, releasing my emotions. I wonder if there is a process for people to, to feel uncomfortable doing that. I wonder. Cause, I think that's it's well wondered. Yeah. You know, and I think it's different for everyone. I notice mm -hmm. I follow people differently so oh. so my work is to follow and support you know I lead but my my leadership is of creating the structure like here we are on this mat and yeah. you know and set up like we started with the structure where um, I would touch you and have you move me off of you right mm -hmm. or ask me to leave so that there was clarity that it's for you and that you could yeah so you could say what was going on and that any touch that happened you were in control of yeah so that that's a structural like way i'm leading but then i'm following you right then i'm watching your breath i'm touching and feeling how your body responds mm -hmm. and moving something and seeing you know can i feel motion or does it get stuck and if it gets stuck where is it stuck and i'll follow and go there mm -hmm. so that's someone who's not comfortable with the thing that's too much their body won't won't let go so then i go to what will let go it's like if i if i can take your arm and then see if you can just soften your elbow and let your arm go and so we get to this uh -huh. that is more than some people's bodies are ready for my body i remember when my body couldn't do that i simply couldn't let go and let someone else move me. Really? It wasn't the vocabulary of what my body knew. I was untouchable for years, essentially. I wanted to be touched, but I just freeze. Wow. So my body didn't know how to allow it. So I got a lot of body work oh my gosh. to help me. Like, oh, there's still parts of my body where, you know, if you touch me back here and I'm not expecting it, oh, you'll see yeah. me freeze. Wow. You know, and then 
and sometimes even if I am expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> And it's there's like, like a memory there's just it. stuff in there. And when I get the chance to go deep into it, when I can just have someone be there for a while, mm -hmm. the layers and the layers and the layers and the layers and the layers. So what you brought up is this, like, what if someone's not ready? What will happen then? And it's like the meeting happens where we're ready. Yeah. And a lot of that, you know, there's probably people who will watch this video who will be like, I'm not ready. Yeah. And then, and they're going like, S and I know in like a year I'm going to need to do that. <laughs> you know, or it starts bugging them, right? right. I've had people they're come in called... and tell me that. Yeah. That's... Well, it's a, and it, so, yeah, I mentioned, I was like, I really want my son to come in here because he has this like pent up anger or something and I haven't ever been able to figure out where it came from or how to process it or what and when I had such a great release I was like this would be perfect for him but then I thought about it and I was like I wonder if he would allow that so I guess that's a discussion to have with him like just, you think he'd be ready or and it comes through differently for for some people who are less where emotion isn't where it needs to go it may just be you know we're chilling out and we're doing stuff and we're kind of joking around and then their neck feels better oh wow you know it's like <laughs> yeah. we don't always not as we we all have such different responses mm -hmm. and so yeah working with different people will get completely different responses some people have no surface emotional reaction right i wondered about that and other people will come on these deep emotional journeys. Yeah. Some, I mean, I've had se I had a session with someone once where the way the session evolved, it was we broke down hugging. Oh. And it had all this deep personal meaning, and the session ended up just being very conscious hugs. Okay. And we broke apart different parts of the hug. I do it in Brave Space a bit. We take apart different parts of the hug. Like... There's, there's, cause it's part of the phrasing of how we do all movement is similar. Mm -hmm. Yield, push, reach, and pull are these fundamentals, but they can all be found in a hug. So mm -hmm. in doing that, it was a super sweet experience. And it also had just the structure of, yeah, we're breaking down hugs. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. simple. So, so simple. And then there are people I work on where it's, it's just like, we're just hanging out. Yeah. You know, but the body feels different after. Yeah. Wildly different experiences. Totally different. Based on whatever we're ready for, whatever the resonance is between our, between us. Yeah. Yeah, it also felt nice to feel, and I'm just going to be vulnerable. It, I felt loved, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, I almost felt like, how it would be when you're born and your mom's just holding oh, you. That's beautiful. You know, so that's a gift that you have to to help me. I felt loved, and I'm kind of distant from my family because they're following the religious path, and their beliefs are that I'm going to their Mormon hell or whatever. <laughs> and so they don't really invest that much in me. And it's really mm -hmm. hard to be on this planet and not like feel like you have that. And and they know they're on some level. They of course they love me, right? But. Um, I haven't really felt super loved in a long wow. time. And then in my current relationship, that's that's also an interesting reflection because, you know, I, I kind of was looking to him to give me that love and he does the best he can with what he's working with and the way he mm -hmm. thinks and all that. And, and I, I get that, but it's still, I don't, I didn't really feel, um, I don't feel loved the same way that it feels to, to go through a session with you and just to feel like they're, you know, my, just having your hand on my leg or something. It's just like, I felt precious. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? That made me so happy. Yeah. And it's true. It's there. I feel right. that. I fall in love with my clients on a regular basis. And then there's also that like non-attachment about it's it. Different. It's not the same as a romantic relationship or it, yeah. it, it's just like Exciting. it's a universal thing coming through yeah. there are personal elements of it right but i do my oh. best to get my personal self out of the way yeah i don't feel any of that energy from you like oh this is more you know no you held this like real impeccable container where i just felt nourished and 
and love. Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. So, yeah, it's it's really a gift that you have. It's it's just going to be neat to explore how many more layers will come out for me. And, yeah. And I want to have an understanding. So I know I put that in the field. I do want to have an understanding of how how my body is storing maybe emotions or traumatic experiences and if they are literally stored in a certain part of the body. I'm really curious to know like how yeah. that all works. Yeah. <laughs> so. And that that mindful curiosity mm -hmm. will just keep uncovering. Yeah. Right? And then it's revealed, oh this oh oh that layer, <laughs> yeah. And I feel like I shine more brightly every time I go into this type of work. You know, I just, I just, I want to peel those layers away. I want people to feel love and warmth in my presence. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be a vessel of truth and just a, an instrument for the divine. And yeah. I, I just feel like more and more that I look at these things and have the courage to look at them, the, the more I shine brightly and, and feel better mm -hmm. and more joyful. In hearing you speak to it that way, mm -hmm. I really like. I recognize how I hesitate to talk about the spiritual aspects oh. of the body. You know, I've hesitate. It's on one level, I'm. It's what I'm doing all the time. Yeah. Totally. But at the same time, there's like a whole thing back. Like, but I don't have any evidence of that, and, <laughs> and right. you know, like I haven't studied that part that way, or and it's like it's just there. It's in the love, right? You talked about yeah. the love and it comes through the heart and through the... And we can talk about it all day and still it's just mm -hmm. these words. It's a felt experience. And somehow it's okay. transmissible yeah. through movement and touch. I was seeing um, a seed while you were talking and trying to explain to the seed, well, this is what a flower looks like. It has petals. And it has a stem, and they're like, what's the stem? What's the stem? And you're like, no, but it's real. <laughs> because it is real, but it's a seed. And yeah. as we're in our human body forms, I think there's so much more that we're tapping into. And we do our best to explain it and to share it and celebrate it. And that seed knows that flower is real. It sees it and feels it too. And I think that's what we're trying to do when we go into these realms of understanding and sharing. We, know, we all know, we know that we are connected. We know we are infinite. You know, there's stuff we all know. It's just how it works with this specific here and now. Mm -hmm. It's a great mystery and it's fun mm -hmm. to explore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like, you know, if I had a question for the seed, it would be, do you ever just long to reach down? Seed <laughs> might be like, Hell yeah. yeah, I have this just longing <laughs> to reach down, downward, and you know, yeah. create these roots. Roots? What's a root? I don't know. I just it's long for something. Yeah, sprouting. <laughs> yeah, like there's the longing. Yeah, and that creates that next level of what we can't even imagine. Yeah, but it's real. It's real. Yeah, yeah. and it's there. And to have a place to explore that without being ridiculed or um, without, yeah, going overly analytical and then hitting roadblocks, it's, it's really valuable. And I mm -hmm. think you do need to speak more freely and openly. I hope you do. Mm -hmm. And I think what's cool is when you do and when I do, I, I start to find the right people that can meet me at that level and can understand it. And those are just like instant cherished friends. Yeah. It's so much fun. Yeah. And then more and more of us. Yeah, there are. Even the girl that was here. Was like, yes. She's one of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks so much, Melanie, for coming to chat. Yeah. You're welcome. Anytime. It's my favorite thing to explore. Mm. Why am I here and how do I make it beautiful? Mm.